everyone. I'm not saying good morning today because it's not a good morning. You probably can't see me because of the sun. I'm just gonna have to deal with it at this point. But today is not a good morning for me. Yesterday I got a call from my dad saying that my nan had passed away. And I've come down to the beach to watch the first sunrise after her passing. Basically last night I didn't get any sleep. I think I didn't fall asleep until like 1 o'clock and I woke up at 4. So I really got like no sleep because I just couldn't sleep. I've just been really struggling because she wasn't sick or anything. She just, she just died and she wasn't old. She just, she just died. And it's just like hit me really hard because it was a huge shock because I saw her two days ago and everything and she was perfectly fine. I wasn't gonna vlog but I just want to make this video in memory of my nan so it might be very emotional it will be very emotional but I need to make this video for my nan so nan this one's for you It's been two days since my nan has passed and today is the first day I'm going to be completely alone. I'm really scared about today because I know I'm going to cry when I'm alone. Like I've been crying when I'm not alone. No, I will just keep on thinking about it because Jason has been trying to distract me as much as possible to me thinking about what's happened to nan. But I know today is going to be a very hard day because I'm going to be completely alone. <laughs> And I'm going to be in all of my thoughts when I'm alone. So I know today is going to be a hard day for me. Yesterday was extremely hard for me. We went to my dad's house yesterday where my nan lived. And everything in that house is my nan. Like I walk straight into the lounge room and the first thing I see in the lounge room is nan's chair. And then had this recliner chair. There was like a full couch there but nan had this recliner chair because that's where she found comfortable for her to sit on and no one else sat in it no one has ever else sat in it and it was just sitting there in the middle of the lounge room but Nan wasn't there that was so hard to say because every single time I went to that house Nan was on that chair those other things in the house that really upset me like her handbag just sitting on the table she would have placed it there herself it was really hard but it was good to spend time as a whole family yesterday all together just grieving and mourning together yesterday it was it was nice and i know nan would have wanted it that way but it was still so hard Today, I'm gonna make all about Nan. I wanna go to the beach and throw some flowers in the water for her. And I wanna go get ice cream and pineapple because she loved that as a combination. <laughs> I wanna go spend some time in the garden because my Nan absolutely loved gardens. I wanna go and learn the jive because my Nan loved to try to the jive. All I know is that today is going to be extremely hard. I'm really scared today. It's been a week since my nan passed away. Yesterday was the day that she passed away a week ago. And today I have decided I'm going to celebrate my nan and go get her some flowers, some of her favorite flowers. I'm hoping I'm gonna find them. And I'm going to go throw them in the ocean for her. <laughs>
this has definitely been the hardest video I have ever made in me being on here on YouTube. I didn't have to make this, of course I didn't have to make this, but I wanted to for my nan. And I know she can't see this, but I still wanted to do something for her. I didn't really want to make this video about myself because it's not about me, it's about my nan. And I wanted to just celebrate her life. I'm not dealing very well with my nan passing. I am I guess I'm still shocked about it all happening because there was no like lead up to my nan passing it just it just happened seeing her two days before she passed i thought i was going to see her again and i didn't think that that last kiss and that last cuddle would have been my last but unfortunately it's just the way life goes sometimes you don't know when people are gonna pass away and sometimes it's unexpectedly just like my nan my nan was everything and she was an amazing incredible woman and I will never forget her. And I hope one day when I become an old lady, I'm just as half as amazing as she was. <laughs> yeah.